Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. It is uh, Wednesday, October 6th. Currently 63 degrees, going up to 73. Overcast. Was, was kind of rainy, but not. I think it's supposed to be dreary today. No rain, hopefully. Today, I'm smoking my Pavel Ecclesius. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> uh, Lavat. this thing, man. Both of his pipes I've been smoking like crazy. They smoke fantastic. Super light. Pretty big bowl heads for how small the pipes are. Which is, uh, it's like, that's like my my perfect combo is, um, smaller bowl with a, a smaller pipe with a bigger bowl. Today I'm smoking some Cornell and Deals 5 o'clock shadow, which is part of the Working Man series. It's a Virginia Perique with some Kentucky crumble cake. Really good. Another one of those blends that I haven't touched in a long time, and um, I apparently had enjoyed it when I first got it because there was not much of a cake left. Probably like a quarter quarter of a cake. Though I did enjoy it. Um, I was planning on doing a review of Scarecrow, which I got yesterday. And I attempted to smoke a bowl of it yesterday and it is disgusting I couldn't even get through like a th the first third of the bowl and I mean there aren't many blends that I'm that I that I just like yeah Ugh. this stuff right here it's already going in the mail as a trade to somebody else because as much as I like the tin art and the description sounds enticing it tastes horrible um, it, you know, if I'm going to smoke something like that, I'd, I'd rather smoke Sleepy Hollow. Um, if I'm going to smoke like a, a fall blend. Um, so I'm actually... Um, trading it to a Sanzini. He's going to... Uh, I'm trading him these two tins. Um, he's going to give me some uh, Peretti uh, RCTR, which I've never tried, and some uh, some Capstan. <clears throat> he's got like a, you know, a couple jars of that stuff that are, you know, this this one's got a bowl or two missing, the, the yellow Capstan, their Capstan Gold's got a, yellow, a bowl or two missing, so it's like perfect. And then um, I'm also sending him over some Sleepy Hollow. 2020, and I also sent him a little sample of some uh, Arrowhead from Paul's Pipe Shop. Uh, they're both, you know, aromatic in nature. They're both aromatics. I mean, let's not mistake. They're, they're, they're both aromatics, but they're both really good aromatics. They're both. They're not goopy. They're both, um, you know, hand blended from from. Uh, single tobacconist shops uh, Sleepy Hollow is from Strauss and Arrowhead is from Paul's Pipe Shop so that's why I said I was like if I'm going to smoke something like this I'd rather you know he's or excuse me I'd rather smoke um, Sleepy Hollow which I'll probably do a review on 
I also got a tin of Wheat Three Kings, which I, I had for a few years, but I have a feeling that, like I was saying, the the jar that I have of it might have lost some some of its topping or casing, just because it's, I think, four, four years old. So I got a fresh tin. I'm going to I'm gonna pop that and do a review on that as well. Uh, but the five o'clock shadow is really good. Um, there's not a whole lot of Kentucky in it. There's just enough to kind of add a little, little bit of flavor. <clears throat> it's definitely a, a, a solid Virginia Perique. And uh, like I was saying yesterday. C and D crumble cakes. I have no problem with. I I enjoy them. They smell great. This one's more of a crumble cake um, than uh, than the blend I smoked yesterday. <clears throat> that one I I actually had to cut. This one just crumbles right apart. I, like I said, I would I would associate. I would say. Um, the heck did I do yesterday? Whatever blend I smoked yesterday, and it's pretty bad that I can't remember right off the top of my head. That's more of like a plug to me than it is uh, a cake. If you have to use a knife, it's a cake, or it's a plug. If you have to, if you can just rip it apart and crumble it, it's a crumble cake. So. Yeah, so I, you know, I, I was hoping that I would like Scarecrow, or at least it would be decent. You know, the fact that it was made from warped, I, I was hoping it was more tobacco driven, but it, it just tastes like a bunch of nasty toppings. You know, candy or candy corn or you know, a little bit of caramel. Um, it just tastes like a, like chemically. It's just, it's not, not, not good. I mean, there aren't, you know, blend really has to be bad for me to not be able to give it a full shot and at least smoke a whole bowl. And and it, I, I packed two bowls of it yesterday, so I got one of those new C and D um, Missouri Meerschaum collab uh, cobs. I forget what it's called. It's like a straight one. Um, and I packed it in that, and all I could taste was like the that fresh. Like, it was really harsh, too. I've never had a cob that tasted like that. That would just tasted like funky wood. Um, so I was like, oh, it's got to be the pipe, which which it was a lot of. So I packed it in one of my, one of my Costellos, and it wasn't nearly as bad, but it was still horrible. Like, the first pipe I smoked, I barely got, like, four puffs out of, and I almost, like, puked. It was like nasty, funky wood, fresh wood smell from a cob or corn cob smell on top of the funky nastiness from Scarecrow. So I was like, all right, I at least have to give this blend like a fair shot and smoke it in a, in a pipe that I know is it doesn't taste like crap. And I did, and it still tastes like crap, so... Just, you know, I, I don't know if they tried to do too much or whatever the casing they tried to put on it, but definitely not good. So hopefully, some hopefully Sanzini, hopefully he uh, he enjoys it. I mean, there's people that I know that I've heard like it, but most of the people that I know that have smoked it or reviewed it didn't. My buddy Dan had a. Uh, really good review on it. He 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 thought highly of it. <clears throat> um, so you can check out uh, the New Age Pipe Smokers YouTube channel um, if you want to see his his thoughts on it. On a side note, with, uh, as far as Dan Seaman goes, um, word on the street is that he really loves holidays. Uh, especially he loves Halloween Thanksgiving and he really loves Christmas so if any of you guys are interested in, in you know sending him some holiday cards 
Uh, I know I will for sure. Um, if you want his address, let me know. You know, if you want to send him a holiday package or um, some Christmas cards, he really, really enjoys getting Christmas cards. It's just some something that he's he's always loved since he was a kid, and he does so much for the community. I mean, I think it's only it's only fair that we show our appreciation by at least sending him a card. So that's uh, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I think everybody else should do too. Heck, if yeah, if maybe even they have Halloween cards. Send them a Halloween card. Send them a package of candy corn. Heard he loves that too. So that'd be enjoyable. But anyway, um, yeah, this is a pretty good blend. I uh, think I might grab another tin of it, tin or two, and throw it away in the cellar. I got my, I got another big tin of the Union Square, another eight ounce tin of that, um, which I've been enjoying a lot of lately. I've almost done the the jar that I had, <clears throat> so I think that's going to go into the rotation. I also got a couple since I started smoking in my in my den in my basement. Since I got that rabbit air, I got uh, I got like this nice little Savinelli. It's like it's called a sidecar, I guess. It's like a little pipe ashtray with a little sidecar um, pipe holder. Love that thing. It's really nice. But, and it's one of the, like a lot of times the ceramic pipe holders don't really hold the pipe. Like when you get one of those cheap like. Uh, pipe ashtrays with the cork knocker and then it's got like two pipe you know little like grooves in there it doesn't really hold the pipe it just kind of falls in there and slides around this has like this little notch cut out and every pipe I've put in it so far just sits in there perfectly um and it wasn't super expensive uh, I think it was like maybe 50 bucks it's really well made um it comes with a little replaceable cork knocker it's not glued to the bottom there's like a little knob and then the, the cork has a hole in it and you slide it over the top and come with a, you know an extra one I guess when that gets dirty which I thought was pretty cool because um, I had another one that I got from like Sutliff for free and I literally just ripped I just ripped off that knocker because it was so nasty and I don't really use the knockers too much I just kind of scrape out the bowl and then um, you know use my hand um, but just from I use it as an ashtray for all my you know, when I clean a bowl out, I'll put it in there, and then I'll eventually, when it piles up, I dump it. Um, so I got that, and then I got this really cool um, from Eight Deco. They make some awesome tampers, super cheap. Um, this one's, uh, I think they called it like the Buddha Belly or a Buddha Tamper. It's a short, little stubby, fat, fat guy. It's only about that big. It's like a turquoise, um, like a turquoise blue. It looks like a turquoise. Uh, like piece of jewelry and it's got a little tiny uh poker that that unscrews but i love the you know what, what, what i love about their tampers i don't have one but it's kind of like this it's got like a real wide like this is a savinelli one theirs are even better they're a little bigger and they're concave and they have holes in them so nothing sticks to it really And I got another one of theirs that's like a taller one that's got a spoon on it and then the spoon unscrews and it turns and then it's poker um, so they're uh, they're really cool. The, the Buddha Belly one, I think it was like twelve bucks, fifteen bucks maybe. Um, but it's it's beautiful looking. It looks like a piece of jewelry. Um, yeah, I love I love tampers. Now at work I use like a regular pipe nail, which I love them too. They're can't beat them for like the dollar that they cost. I don't think I have one in here. I used to have one in here. I just got this, like, Dunhill one that I, when I first started smoking a pipe, <clears throat> I got. It's all right. It's a little, little, I don't like the, you know, how it's narrow at the top. I like something bigger, especially when I'm driving. I've got a rambling. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get this in the mail today. 
So I'm, I'm uh, kind of excited to try the RCTR. I think it's a straight Virginia. I, uh, excuse me, from Peretti. When you go on Peretti's website, it, it can be a little over, you know, just like any other. There's so many blends and it's, you know, the RCTR, I don't think is in a flake. I think it's, a, it might be like a ribbon cut. Um, or like a broken flake. I'm not sure what it is, but let me give it a, give it a shot. So yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's all I got. Um, I, uh, I've been loving the, uh, the, the virtual responses that I've got. I think I've gotten maybe a handful of them so far. At least that I've seen. Um, some really, really good videos. <clears throat> um, some new subscribers making some videos. Which is, uh, which is awesome. So, uh, yeah, get those VRs posted. And, uh, I enjoy watching everybody, everybody's videos. They've been, they've been entertaining. And the good thing is it's getting it's getting my YouTube algorithm back into the into the you know the YTPC, um, just because you know when I get into something and I start going down the YouTube rabbit hole on certain subjects and then the, the, you know all the suggestions in the algorithm <coughs> suggest other videos. So the more YTPC videos I watch, <coughs> the. Uh, more they're right in front of my face and the more I'm going to watch them but anywho that's all I got for you today I hope you guys are having a great week I'll talk to you guys tomorrow um, I can't say that I would recommend Scarecrow, so if you haven't gotten it, I wouldn't really go out of your way to get it, unless you like really funky tasting, half aromatic, half not aromatic, candy corn flavored blends, then hey, give it a shot, but I think uh, out of all the people that I've seen that have done a review, that I've watched, uh, maybe one has liked it. So, to each their own, but... Not me. Anyway, guys, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, the left lane is for passing. See you guys.